My yeah. guest artist joining me today is Sasina, uh, a great uh, pop uh, pop rising star, they call her, uh, which is an interesting concept oh. to me. And I'd like to start there. Sasina, hello, and uh, great to have you here and joining us right now all the way in, in, in Queensland, Australia. So thank you. So cool. Well, thank you so much for having me. It's such an honor to to speak with you and thank you for playing my music. It's so, so wonderful. Absolutely. We love it. It's great music to play. Hey, um, they tell me you're from LA. You're based in LA. Are you there at the moment, Los Angeles? I'm actually in Nashville right now, but Nashville. it is true. I'm based in LA right now. Um, yeah, I lived in Nashville for about 11 years and then last September moved out to the Los Angeles area. Um, but I was here in Nashville um, for a Christmas concert. Actually, I was performing with Torn Wells, uh, a version of Oh Holy Night for a really gorgeous Christmas event uh, with Tommy Prophet, who's a producer artist and uh, yeah. So on that, yeah, at a, at a Christmas event, there is only yeah. one singer that gets to sing Oh Holy Night. And that's like the biggest moment of the whole event. Did you get to sing Oh Holy Night? I sang a duet, yeah, Oh Holy Night with Torn Wells. Boom. What a moment. Which is, I mean, it's been a very humbling experience because the key that was chosen for the song was quite high. Oh, okay. <laughs> and uh, yeah, indeed. And so I was like, when I, Tommy Prophet is the producer artist that is, it was his vision that he is come to life. So he did a lot of traditional Christmas songs and wanted to do like a super epic cinematic version of them. Um, and that's where he really thrives. And it was also like, his heart was to take these traditional songs and breathe fresh life into them and kind of give a taste of what the celebration would have been like in heaven. Um, and wow. seriously, that goal was very much accomplished because it was so beautiful. Like his production, everything was so stunning. So for the actual concert, there was like over a hundred person choir <laughs> and like a, a, like a, giant orchestra and background singers like the whole thing so it was really beautiful to see it wow. come to life um and so when he asked uh and said that we were gonna go ahead and do the concert i was like i have my work cut out for me <laughs> for sure i'm like but yeah i i'm gonna be contacting some vocal teachers and <laughs> by the grace of our lord jesus we will do it but it's such a stunning song and like seriously yeah. it's like I don't know. It's it's, glorious. it's all time. So. It's, it's an all time classic song. Not even like Christmas song. It's just all time classic song, and you got to sing it. That is, hey, um, did you that like because true. you've got like a hundred piece choir and all the band and all the production stuff? You can't just go. Hey, can we drop it down a key? Like, you can't really do that. <laughs> no, no. Like on the front end, I did kind of like try to negotiate with him a little bit, but he's like, "Oh no, no, you got it, you got it." You'll so be fine. Yeah. honestly, yeah. So it was. I am grateful because he did uh, like show what was possible, like everyone's potential. So I'm like, I have something to like work towards and he believes in me. <laughs> so I'm like, thank you very much. Um, and I will definitely work towards this for sure. So well, it's um, good to have people yeah. in your life like that who can stretch us and, and grow us and, yeah. and all that kind of, it was really cool. Hey, I want to yeah. talk to you a little bit about, cause they, they call you a, uh, one of the fastest rising stars, especially within Christian uh, radio st uh, uh, music scene here in Australia. Um, on the rise. Talk to me a little bit about um, what it is like to have uh, things changing around you, because we, you and I both know that we've known you only for a little bit of time, but you've um, done all the hard yards and, and all the work and, and, and growth um, a lot longer than this. Maybe it's just being recognized now. Um, talk to me about like how things have kind of changed in the last couple of years for you and the, and the work that you've kind of done to get to this point. Yeah, that's a great question. Um, yeah, I mean, I I started in the music industry pretty young, like when I was about 13, I signed a publishing deal. So I've been immersed in the creative community at a young age. And so I personally am like, God is very gracious because I'm like a slow and steady wins the race kind of gal. I'm like, sometimes I'm a little slow, um, but I'm so thankful for the whole learning process. So being like starting in the music industry and in the creative community so young, I really feel like I've learned so much and God's done so much in, in my own heart and developing a love for the creative community itself. Um, so I'm learning from them like in skills with singing, songwriting, and just being, being a part of everything. Um, so as things 
changed and my music is being recognized, it's kind of like, I don't know, I guess it's like helping because I've been in, in the community for a while. Um, it's just like sustainable steps of, of growth. And so I'm super thankful that anyone would listen to my music and that it can encourage people. So that is such an honor for, for me. And as I continue to, to get better in my art and in my craft and people really are able to enjoy it. I'm like, I'm so grateful for that. So, um, yeah, by God's grace, he can help me navigate whatever changes come. (laughs) And I have a great team of people that I'm working with as well that are like, we're all stretching and learning and growing as well. So um, yeah, it's pretty, pretty great. Yeah. And so as things change around you, what have been some of the consistencies that you've said, hey, I really need to keep this or uh, I need to hold this dearly? Yeah, um, a huge thing uh, for me has definitely been like rooted and planted in the house of God. Um, and so, yeah, like last year moving to California, I don't have any family history (laughs) on the West coast at all. And LA is a very like large city with a lot of different vibes happening (laughs) for sure. And, um, and then I spent the summer in Germany. So obviously Jesus is living on the inside of me, but being in community with the body of Christ and being rooted in his house uh, has been super important. So navigating change in that way of like moving out to LA, I was like, the first thing (laughs) that I need to do is like, I need to like find and get plugged in to like, just start planting roots. And then even when I was in Germany, uh, I found a really wonderful church, like wherever I was at. Um, And that has definitely helped me stay like level uh, in my spirit um, wherever I am. And as change changes come for sure. Um, Okay. So we're loving uh, flowers. We're loving generate our next generation uh, here in Brisbane at 96.5 in particular. Uh, We've got some great music. We'll talk about your new single next generation in a little bit. Um, But, uh, but because we we don't really know you that well, Cecina, just yet uh, here in Australia. I mean, we've been loving the music. Don't get me wrong. What's something that you just, you think, Hey, I wish Australians knew this about me. Oh, geez. That is a quality question. <laughs> um, maybe it's a, maybe it's I... not a quality question. Maybe it's too hard. I don't want to throw you off. <laughs> no, something you're, like, no hey. you're so good. No, you're so good. I, um, I guess as an artist and like, yeah, as an artist, songwriter, I'm definitely like a sensitive gal, I guess. So my heart is very soft. It's like a stick of butter. Um, I love people very, very much, and I love the creative community more than words can say. So, um, yeah, I mean, I guess that would be like a big thing with me that I just very much like I love people. I love culture and also like collaborating with other people, allowing like just experiences in life and different cultures to inspire and influence the creativity. And I guess over the years, um, being in music, uh, God's given some opportunities to really be stretched um, and to go to some different places. And uh, so I love to travel a lot and meet new people and work with the creative community in different places. And um, so, yeah, I don't know if that's well, absolutely. Well, being in LA, based in LA, that'd be a, a great spot. It's just such a, um, you know, multicultural and um, and creative kind of city to to live in. Have you found that, that that's been rubbing off on you in a good way? Yeah, it definitely, definitely has. And I think there's like, even before I moved, I had spoken with somebody that lived in LA for a long time and then ended up moving to Nashville um, because he had kids and felt like the pace of life and family uh, was sometimes it's like having a raising a family in LA is a little bit tough. Um, And LA could be just a hard city because there's a lot of people that are coming to the city with big dreams. Um, And uh, so there's a lot of people in the same boat. So there's a level of grit um, that you have and so when i was talking with this person he's in the he was a producer um he's saying even kind of the lifestyle and the the hustle the pace of life and some of the like the grind of it all does end up influencing the the music a little bit and the creativity and so 
I definitely think I can find that to be true of like being there and meeting new people and having some life experiences <laughs> for sure since I've been there. Um, and sometimes, yeah, sometimes it's a tough one, uh, but it's okay. <laughs> um, but I'm like love meeting the people out there and I'm really excited about the creativity that's coming out of, out of the season for sure. All right, cool. Let's talk about your single Next Generation, which is just such a fun song to listen to and it's got so much great energy coming through. You've captured something really special. Uh, what does the song mean to you? Yeah, thank you so much. Um, thank you for playing it. The song is definitely uh, about perseverance and endurance and something that the Lord was really speaking to me over the summer. Uh, he was actually speaking uh, through some verses in Romans 5 about how we can actually have joy when we run into problems because the testing of our faith produces uh, perseverance and endurance and from endurance, the strength of character. And so I, for me, even when I recorded the vocals of Next Generation, I was actually really sick. <laughs> and I've never had like really significant problems like vocally um, but around January when the song was recorded, I was really struggling. And so when I showed up to the studio to to do it, I was like, Jesus, I don't know how <laughs> I'm going to like sing the song. But I'm like, I don't even know what's going to come out of my mouth. But it's like, it's a little bit of a tough one there. <laughs> and he really helped me. Um, but I was like, I didn't have a choice because we had to turn the song in. So the timeline was quite short for when we had to, when I needed to send in my vocals. And so the Lord really helped me. <laughs> with that and so this past year god has really been helping me to like yeah like learn how to have joy in kind of unfolding what that means when you do run into problems um, and i really want to be in a place in my life where i can actually rejoice when things go wrong not that you're happy that things go wrong but to be able to have a sense of peace and uh levelness when things kind of go in a direction that you don't expect them to because First of all, God is God is with you, and and the end result of that is it is developing endurance and um, and developing your character in the process. So, uh, yeah. So good, so good. All right, okay. I uh, would love it if you could just take the time to introduce your song for us here on Brisbane's ninety six five. Yeah, absolutely. Hi, this is Sina, and you're listening to Next Generation on 96.5. Yeah. 